Hi everybody, welcome to our next uh, Tuesday Tech Tip. Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how you can snip, use a snipping tool uh, on your Chromebooks. Uh, so that is something that a lot of people have been asking me about uh, how to do that because we're so used to using that snipping tool on our uh, laptops and our um, uh, Windows devices. Uh, you can do it on a Chromebook as well. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things here. So first of all, uh, this is the very simple way to do it. And this is a very basic one. So just to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, you're going to do control and the switcher key. The switcher key is this one right here, which Chromebooks have. And if you want just a bit of the screen, so you're actually using that snipping just to take a part of your screen, you're going to do control shift and the switcher key at the same time. All right. So that is a very simple way to do it, but I'm also today, I'm going to show you an extension uh, that can make things a little easier for you too. And also uh, one that um, your kids aren't pushing so many buttons, but also uh, that has some more functionality to it as well. So the extension is called awesome uh, screenshot. It's right here. So this is in the Chrome web store. Uh, you could uh, go to the Chrome web store, install this extension on your computers and you'll have it, uh, you'll have it in your Chrome browser. So it's this right up here. It's awesome screenshot. It's this little guy. Uh, it looks like the little shutter. I'm going to head over to uh, Net Geo for Kids, uh, an article about sloths. And you can see here, maybe your kids are doing a presentation about sloths or they're, you know, wanting to get some information. So uh, you could, like I said, you could use these buttons to grab up a certain part of the screen. Or uh, if you use this extension, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Notice that there's a few different options here. So uh, capture visible part of the page, capture a selected area, and so on and so forth. Now, the really great thing about this one is you can also record record your screen. So if you want kids to make a video of something, they're narrating it, uh, you could do that as well. Um, for right now, I'm just going to do capture uh, selected area. I'm going to do that. Notice how my screen goes just a little darker. Uh, let's say that we want to grab just this section right here. Okay. All right. So now notice it says uh, cancel or capture. So I'm going to say capture. And it opens up in here. So this is uh, the actual awesome screenshot, uh, kind of a platform where everything is housed. All right, so now I'm going to say, uh, notice if you go over top of it, we can highlight certain sections or we could underline certain sections. And I can't do this with my mouse, apparently. There we go. Um, so you could uh, highlight, you could underline, you could, you could mark it up, you could write on top of it, you could still uh, crop it as well. So a lot of functionality here, a lot of things that you could do with it. Uh, and I'm going to say done. And now uh, this connects to the Google Drive, uh, to the student's Google Drive or, or to yours. Uh, so right over here where it says save to your projects, typically it's going to say something like uh, log into Google. So once you log into Google there, you have the ability to save this screenshot into your Google Drive account. You also have a couple of other options here. You have a um, save uh, image as a file on your computer. Uh, the next one is copy it. So if you want them to take this and actually just, you know, maybe place it inside of a Google Slides presentation or something that they're working on, they could do that too. And then the other option there is a print option there as well. So like I said, there's a little bit more functionality with this one, with this extension. Yes, you can. You can snip just on your Chromebook without any extension. However, this extension, uh, you, you can do a few more things with it. So I hope you enjoy and I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.